I'm completely full of fail again. Um, I I met I was gonna go to the health food store to get some black strap molasses because I, I'm anemic again, right? So well now I'm not anemic again, you said my blood count was low. So I don't think it was anemic exactly, but um so I was gonna go to the health food store, right? I get my phone, I get the keys, you know, I get the bag to take so I can carry it back. I'm walking, right? I get most of the way there and I realize I didn't bring a mask. And I'm like, I'm so sick of this shit. I'm tired of, you know, it's bad enough having to have a phone all the time. I just feel like you can't go anywhere without having all this crap and then this stupid mask. And I'm like, I just came back home. And then, you know, I'm just like, I give up. You know, I just am not supposed to have any blood or something. <laughs> and then um, I got my, where is this? I'm still on the mailing list. Not that I can go there, I guess, but it just makes me sad. It is the sheer season is the next. <laughs> Sorry, I had to sneeze. And it was loud. And my mic pumped up. It's what is it? Dance something? I saw that on the Fall for Dance Festival. I mean, I was never a ballet dancer. You know, when I was a kid, I used to take jazz and tap. And I really liked dancing, and I thought that was the thing I was kind of good at. But, when I got high school age, the price of dance school went up. And we already didn't have money, so I said, well, forget it then. Into the Woods is a spring gala. May. I mean, Broadway started yesterday, I think. It would be nice, but again, I'm not part of society anymore. Even if I had money, I wouldn't be part of society anymore, so. But, yeah, so money was always the stupid issue that caused me. I tried to learn as an adult to not let money stop me, but, you know. So I did what I could while I could and I was pretty good at finagling and stuff like that until recent cataclysms but I'm just always wrong I stupid thing. I don't know what it is I am down here too right I had put stuff on it yesterday because I thought I was going to do videos and then I didn't do any so now I'm doing the video again and I forgot to put stuff back on. I gotta sneeze again. It smelled like spray paint yesterday. I think maybe somebody was fixing a car. I guess sneeze again. Oh my god. So yeah, I've been getting bit to hell by mosquitoes. And they said yesterday that they tested some for... Okay, that was four in a row. Four sneezes in a row. Generally when I do that, it's allergies. Nothing's killing me yet, so I haven't gotten, I think it was West Nile virus up in Fall River. I don't know if they tested them down here, I wasn't paying attention, but I've been getting bit a lot. I have a lot of overgrown stuff, I try to do my best, but like I said, I'm always exhausted. I have a lot of overgrown stuff, and the neighbors have a big pool, so you know, it is what it is. They come around every year, for years and years and years, you're supposed to spray yourself with that garbage so they won't bite you and you won't die. And then you find out the people who get the disease and die from it. They said, I did everything right. I sprayed the hell out of myself. This is why you know all this prevention, trying to avoid death, doesn't actually work. So you're just supposed to live your life as best as you can, which I've had a crappy life, but I've done what I could with what I had. I'm sure I should have done better. I know I should have done better somehow, but I still don't know what I did now. Yeah, so... Every once in a while I think, oh, I'll lose weight and I'll try doing dance stuff again, but you need money. Like, say you want to take a dance class, you need money. Say you want to do this and that. You know, you want to join a, what do you call it, 
thing, the gym, I don't join the gym, I don't think that ever, I joined the gym once and I never went, this was back in the old day, and I wasn't, I was just starting to put on weight, but, yeah, so what am I talking about, I'm talking about being full of fit, how do I go out without a mask, I was like, almost, and I was walking good too, I was like, nothing was hurting, then of course, by the time I get back home, I'm like, ow, <laughs> I was supposed to be wa re watching Revolution yesterday, but then I did, you know, found out Norm McDonald died, so I ended up watching a bunch of his videos instead. Then I fell asleep way too early. Woke up like 2 o'clock in the morning or not even. And then I was like, I think I fell asleep like 8 something. <laughs> and then I was in and out of sleep for the rest of the thing. And then I didn't actually, I woke up 6 o'clock. I'm like, well, since it's early, I can make tea and do all this stuff early. What did I do? I, it's garbage day, so I put out the garbage. I came back in and laid back down. I just, three hours later, I still hadn't had anything to drink. My head's not right. I'm just not right in the head. I'll say it a million, thousand, billion times. Um, ten years ago, I should have done something. I just, I would try and fail and try and fail. I'm just, I don't know. Man, I suck. What else is going on in the world? I don't even know. Like, the news is on all morning. I don't even know what they were talking about. I don't think I care. I think they were talking about California. Again, that's not my business. What else is going on? Um, I'm sure there was a bunch of stuff going on that they didn't talk about. Really quick, let me see what's going on. Let me check YouTube, see if it has anything to tell me. I follow a lot of the I follow ITV news, Sky News, BBC News. Let me see if there's anything going on. Suddenly, there's water shortages and food shortages everywhere. Because I knew there was a water shortage in the American Southwest. Now I'm seeing there's one that says something about third world countries. Where'd the water go? I don't know. And then, um, <laughs> I, I'm seeing a, you know, a thing on the bottom of one of the videos saying food shortages. And I'm like, but they were saying there's food shortages here. You know, again, with, oh, you people are going to restaurants, and it, the, the thing on, I think it was Night Eels, were saying people are going to fancy restaurants again, but they can't get ribs, because there's no ribs. And I'm like, you can't shut the world down and not expect the world to be forever broken. This is what they did. This is what our governors did to us. They shut us down and they broke the world. And now they want us all to act like it's fine because stupid idiots didn't understand the economy can't run on freaking, um, you know, the Dow Jones. It actually runs on stuff and people purchasing and people having purchasing power. But as long as they judge the economy by the stupid stock market, they make dumbass decisions. As long as their life didn't change, they thought everything was fine. Symbi See, this is why you watch movies and you pay attention symbionts where do we get this from we get this from the prequels when we had to understand that the gungans and the um padme's people depended on each other okay that's the point rich people still need poor people you need poor people to buy your stuff you need poor people to be alive to work in your store you need them to be uh, around to, you know, take your blood if you need a blood test to uh, take care of you in the hospital. If, you know, change the sheets and pick you up and do all that crap. And, you know, your, your rich elderly uh, mom needs a home health aid. That's a poor person. You need poor people. You cannot just act like everything's fine and whatever so now you have food shortages because you broke everything down why do you think that's happening because you thought oh well, no my life's gonna go along fine i got all this money i got a fridge full of ice cream i'm gonna be a-okay you know but somewhere down the line you need to pour people every step of the way you need garbage men you need even policemen are poor compared to the rich people you understand what i'm saying you needed poor people and you just thought you could just handle all your shit on your own. And then you started to realize it didn't. You're like, okay, everybody go back to work. But you broke us. You broke everybody and you broke everything. Now here we're at. I'm not fixing the audio. I fixed the audio. I'm Like I said, there's a West Side Story trailer looks like. So I will react to that. 
when I'm fixing the audio, I'm fixing it. I'm putting, I'm lining it up, and then I put it to process or whatever, right? And somewhere in that program, it's now making it, so there's a jump in the beginning. I've been doing this the same way this whole time. Why there's suddenly a jump in the beginning? So that even though I'm fixing the audio, it's not really fixing because it's not, I'm getting it exact to the best of my ability, but this jump is making it not line up right. And it's not my fault. So even the videos I'm fixing the audio on, the audio is not fixed. I don't know what I'm supposed to do because, you know, I've been doing everything freebie all this time. And if I'm working, now things aren't working. But yeah, I'm going to go pretty much right now react to the West Side Story trailer and I will try to fix it and put it up and if I get my shit together I also got Bill and Ted face the music out of the library because I could not afford to look at it I think so the library had it so I'll watch that I'll try to do a review of it revolutions I was half in and out watching it so I'll, I'll try to rewatch I think my interpretation maybe was wrong my interpretation was after watching it many many times over with Reloaded, but I didn't like watching Reloaded that much, you know, so once I had the gist of what went on in that movie, I still think I know, but I was like, let me rewatch it, but at the end, I did think what I thought before, so if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and my interpretation is not going to work out for what's going forward, because it sounds like I'm wrong, but I'm still going to say what I thought, I'll just do a quick, not a review, just a rethink of, you know, whatever, anyways, bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>